What's up, guys? We're back here with Terry. We are currently sitting here because we're not in the gym this week. Terry, you want to tell them why? I had rescheduled my morning gym every day. I schedule my one mile walk every morning. We do the heavy geno workout on Friday afternoon. We didn't do this Friday afternoon because I had to play lawyer this afternoon. This whole professional thing that we were talking about gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> Jenna's very disturbed that one of my law practice does interfere with her weight loss plan. I'm but just saying, okay? I should get all the attention. Let me highlight like two things that really did uh, surprise me these last couple weeks. I do the Jenna plan of the mile walk every morning, the light workout every morning, the nine mini meals a day. The thing that I have believe, and I, I think many of you, if not all of you, will also find this out, they get into the mini meal every two hours, your body adapts to it. Your body likes it. We come from hundreds of thousands of years of ancestry that did not have huge meals all the time and ate this one. Correct. This is also why in America we get made fun of for having massive meals. So we are basically retraining Terry's tum-tum. tum, -tum. tum, 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 tum. It is like putting a key in the door and turning a key. It just works. I would just like to take a moment to reward Terry on incorporating his daily walks. It's amazing how perfectly it works when one follows exactly the plan that Jenny has. I don't get dizzy. I don't get tired. I feel good. I sleep well. Everything's fine staying with the plan. When I deviate from the plan, I picked up five pounds in three days by not deviating from it very much. I can lose a pound a day Monday through Friday. Except so, when? Except, as in this last week, I wrongfully, business-wise, I'm getting close up on you so you can see yourself So do I can this. see myself do this honestly. <laughs> a regular meal. The reality is one regular meal screws it up. It really does. It does guys and that's that's the truth of what's happening i keep on my iphone day by day by day by day exactly to the tenth of a pound where i plan to be over yeah. the next 90 to 100 days we both thanks to terry have notebooks that keeps track of that as well which i think is very cool he surprised me as a gift one day with one of those I had to reconfigure the entire thing. It's a setback, but you know what? We accept challenges, we take them for what they are, and we're sitting here now because we're figuring out how to move forward, and that's okay. I prefer to say learning curve rather than setback, but... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I think Terry wins this one. <laughs> you and I have spoken about this, but I consider what a trainer does is we're accountability partners, and we're a team. And, exactly. you know, right now we're in the mud together. <laughs> and we're going to get out of the mud with one of your heart-healthy meals with this asparagus right here. Here we go. <laughs> the good asparagus. Hence a bit of the road bum. Terry decided to order before I showed up. <laughs> I can't even take you seriously. I can't believe that's what showed up. Why don't we give an example of a real meal? The 6 a.m. meal I do um, two of egg whites, put it on a piece of gluten-free uh, 10 grain bread, and I have a, a tea with a lemon into it. For myself, an amazing coffee lover, lots of half most important thing in my life is, of course, my daughter, Erica, who's... This is how this all started, which is incredible. The plan and the journey Jana and I are on is the number two thing in my life. Hey, I'll take number two. My daughter, on April 8th this year, turned 16. So I readjusted my goals to a goal that's very, very close to my heart. I will be 216 pounds, down from where I am now, right in the 270 range. I'll be at 216 on her birthday. So let's, let's tell them what happened this week. The name of the game is get a plan, have a partner, follow through the plan, and God forbid if there's a setback, shake it off and say, okay, here we go again get back up on the truck. I'm very excited and very positive about where we're going. Oh, we're gonna get it.